Evening, everybody. How's everyone doing? Like that. That, oh. that, that tracks. Me, that me tracks. Too. I feel that energy. Poor little girl has to has to go get shots. Get shots tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I just meant crying because I don't have a titty in my mouth. Oh. And that's how we start the evening. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's last week y'all uh, managed to deal with the Avatar Grimush. Someone was given an anniversary spear to throw at the start of a battle. And I believe y'all had made it back to the boat. Is that where we ended last time? Uh, we never went back to the boat. We were still in the at the place. Oh, okay. Uh, then I will switch up. Oh, I deleted that map. Wait, no, I didn't. There you go. So, this is where you find yourself. The Avatar has walked off, and most of the ostuary tree has gone with him. Well, whatever rolling branch is left out there isn't going to be there very long. It seems like a lot of branches were not here for very long. You're still in the bag. No, I'll just say Shamrock has emerged from the bag as you said that. Oh no, I'll, I'll stay in the bag. I like it in there. There's a jacuzzi in there. You have mostly made people soup at this point, man. It is. I have prestidigitation, so I just clean it. Just the bag is my happy place. Gestalt has just been performing experiments in the alchemy lab. Yes. So what is the party doing now that you have been gifted this gnarly looking three barbed spear? I hear a very unhappy baby. Well, we need. We should probably go to the inn eventually first. Is there an inn? The one we started out in. You good with that? Everybody tired? Uh, yes. I uh, cannot so push the button. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm a little tired, but I, I'm gonna hang in there. I also need to find whoever that guy was. He's close. I don't know if he's at the there or not, but hold on, our tax is being wild. So what does the party wish to do? Go back to the boat or wander around? I think we got all the supplies we need. Yeah, we could do... Uh, uh, is there anything on the boat we need? I mean, it's your transport to get, to get further to, down the river. It's easier to go by boat than walk through the damp wood on foot. I mean, but y'all knew that because y'all's first one of your first adventures took you through here, and it's it's soggy for all but two party members. Uh, 
I say we go back to the boat. Yep, probably a bit drier at the boat, ironically. To the boat! Jesus Christ. That was very loud. It was. Okay, you make it back to the boat. It's where you left it. Uh, if y'all wish to make it downstream, I need somebody to roll me a D6. Uh, I didn't hear a D what? D6. All right, Moose. That's uh, a good one. Moose, roll me a D100. Okay. Um, Perry? Wow, fucking really? Perry, uh, with your 20 natural passive perception, isn't it? Is it 20 or is it above 20? It is 20. Okay, um... You see it all too late as y'all managed to start getting off in about an hour from pushing past Finn Deep. At first, it looks kind of like a tree, and then you realize it's a broken obelisk. And as you get close to it, it flares. So you're able to say it and notice it. And Guys, what the fuck is that? And as Perry says that there is a flash of green light. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's probably dangerous. All right. Um. So I am going to start on the map. Uh, Shamrock. How? What magic items do you have in your possession? A deck of illusions and a rod of the pack keeper. Okay. Uh, activate or let's see, roll deck of illusions at random. Oh, I have the thing on my sheet actually. It is a uh, d34 at the moment. So, what? 29 will be the eight of diamonds, it makes a no. Okay, so a knoll magically appears, Rod of the Pack Keeper. I need to... The Rod of the Pack Keeper just gives me a plus one bonus to my attack. Okay. So that is for Psychic in that case. Moolock. Yes? What magic items do you have in your possession? Just like in my bags? Uh, on your person. Uh, my ring... Okay. My other ring. Okay. Now, do those just have innate effects, or do they have... Yes. This? Okay. So, for those, that is 11 psychic. What else you got? Uh, My sword. And it sings, correct? Yes. What song does it just start blaring randomly that you find extremely annoying? Uh, our God is an awesome God. He reigns. That song. Uh, flashbacks. Oh, <laughs> same. <God. laughs> Fuck. Yep. Just a room full of people waving back and forth in bad rhythm at the same time. All right, so that starts happening. And my boots. Like Your boots of mud gliding. Okay, mud gliding. So that's kind of just there. You go. So that's another one psychic. Uh, and that's it. Well, you got your broom. Oh, yeah, my broom. Uh, so in that case, Malak, you move a full, excuse me, your broom. Do you have it on you or did you have it like off to the side? Uh, it's probably like, I don't know. What do you mean by on me? Do you carry it with you or do you have it like leaned up against something? 
Uh, it's probably, yeah. I'd assume I'll have it, like, holstered. Okay. Uh, how far does it move? 60 feet. Yeah. It shoots you 60 feet straight up in the air. Uh, Mularn is not here, correct? Uh, that is correct. All right. So uh, you have access to his character sheet, though, right? Oh, I don't know. You know what? We will come back to him. I get to go okay. to... Uh, I'll keep looking. I get to go to... Uh, dry I do. I do, but I don't know what he has equipped or not. Okay, so we'll just handle that whenever Nox shows up. Um, Y'all gave him a magic sword. Wait, and you yeah, said I took... That one that, uh, that Tarl had in his bag, yeah. Yeah, okay. You said I took damage? Yeah. How, it was thir it was one per it was one psychic da it was let's see 11 12 you took 12 total okay right. Dreyfus takes one psychic as his sword causes ice to go up his arm uh arvax what magic items do you have uh so a masterwork sword magic? Uh technically yes. Come back to me. Okay, is it that minis? We'll I cannot hold the button and hold the binky in the baby's mouth. Okay, do it do I need to switch with you then? No, just give me a second. Okay. Uh Tarl, what magic items do you have in your possession? I've got my hammer. Okay, and that okay. that has a mate effect, so that's four psychic. I have a flask of never ending holy water. Okay, that is just gonna start spewing holy water out. I have my hanky of holding. It empties. I've got my bag of holding. It empties. it empties. My vest of many pockets. It empties. It empties. Cloak of protection. That has an that innate. Has an that, that's an innate, right? That's innate, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's 10 yeah, so psychic total. total. There's some bad <laughs> reverb. My cloak of elving time. My soul steel breastplate. Half a portable hole. It empties. Stone of limited telepathy. Tel uh, telepathy. Amulet of tree walk. You're not close enough to a tree to have it go off. A plus one war hammer. Is that it? I'm looking through my list. Yeah, I think that's it. What's okay. that total? 25 psychic. Damage? Yeah. And all the stuff in your bags of holding just pours out onto the deck around you. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go with our good goo boy. Okay. So, I have a vicious sword. That's four psychic. Uh, I got winged boots. That allows you to fly, right? Yeah, 30 uh, feet. You uncontrollably go straight up 30 feet. Okay, I got a cloak of protection. 
So that's seven and psychic. Technically, my crossbow and scale mail, because of me, are magic. Because they have repeating shot and enhanced defense from... I don't know if you, you're counting yeah. class stuff. Yeah. Because it's te- it works as a magic item. I just create the magic item. Yeah. yeah. So it's enhanced defense and repeating shot, which are both... They just give plus yeah. one to AC and attack and damage, respectively. Okay, so that's uh, that's another six psychic. How much is that total? So far, you've mentioned three I- or four items that have a. Uh, so that's four, seven, nine, uh, four, seven, eight, fourteen. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. That's everything. You don't have a like a bunch of patch robes or anything. No. Okay. Cool. I don't think so. Perry. I've got my uh, femoral arc. So that's your weapon. Yeah. So that's six psychic. I've got the fire giant chains. Okay, they burst in the flame. That's three psychic. Blood bison cloak. That's the... 15 temp HP and two con. Okay. So that's an eight, so that's another five. A uh, pipe of infestation. A bunch of rat. Oh, hold on. It summons rats, or does it summon just any vermin? Any vermin. They're I now, think also any uh, insects too. You're now uh, the whole. Seagulls. The, the whole. <laughs> you know what? Yes, just because Shamrock said that, and because of something with Shamrock, there are now seagulls and mosquitoes everywhere. Awesome. A uh, pipe of cloud. You just rip the fattest bit of cotton everywhere. Oh my god, the seagulls. I we almost forgot. My fake curse. I can't identify birds. So when the seagulls <laughs> show up, Shamrock's gonna just gonna say, "Look at all those chickens! Look at all those chickens!" <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I can't. I can't identify birds. Uh, mug that doubles alcohol content. Uh, you are immediately drunk. She doesn't drink. It's I, I know, but it's on your it's on your body. You have it. This is the worst feeling ever. Snoop pouch. But you now feel slightly better because you have also imbibed herbs somehow. Cool. That's it for her. Okay. Uh, I forgot. I also have two just regular healing potions. I don't know if those count. No, those, those don't count. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's calm. All right. So what do we got for the, the Arvax? I have my Masterwork Longsword. One psychic. Uh, my plus one shield. Total of two psychic. Uh, my mithril armor. Seven psychic. I don't know if my holy symbols actually matter. Oh. I have. You said potions don't count. Mm-mm. My nearly bottomless flask. It starts, it empties out, and the whole deck is covered in whatever was in it. It's like four gallons of water. Yeah, it's just four gallons um, pour out of your belt pouch. You said, you said, uh, potions don't count. What about alchemist fire? No, if I'm not counting potions, I'll be nice. And I have the trident that the avatar gave me. That, oddly enough, doesn't do anything. Okay. But as you go past this and the green light flares, your magic items all fire off, either releasing an effect or giving you damage. Like a headache? Like, just fuck! Yeah, it's it's like extreme overstimulation all at once. Uh, Mulak and... Uh, Mulak and uh, Gestalt, y'all are airborne? Like, not controllably airborne, either. Well, this isn't good. I don't think this is a, supposed to happen. Getting Tar- baby a bottle. Be right back. Okay, Tarl, the, I, I know you have so much crap in all your pockets, so I'm assuming, like, six feet in every direction around you is, like, piled up to your waist and stuff. I'm going to start putting all of it back in my pockets. Okay. 
I am going to try and move down with the winged boots. Uh, roll me a athletics or acrobatics at disadvantage currently. Okay, you uh, so- thirteen. You, you slowly get yourself down, but you're mostly upside down as you do it. I'm gonna try and pseudopod myself to the to the deck, whatever yeah. I can find. Yeah, you, you can. It's just your feet or your your boots are still flapping to try to get you to go another mm-hmm. direction. So this is untenable. We need to fix this. I might just fly away. Mulak, what are you doing? Uh, does my broom just fly back down? Uh, give me either athletics or acrobatics to see if you can you can do this back to the ground. And it's at disadvantage. You go higher up. I'll just fall. I'll just get off and fall. But you're just abandoning the broom in the air? Yeah, I can call it back to me with a magic word. Okay, so you just... Okay, so you're going to fall... See, that's 120 feet because it moves. Huh? And then... But I'm not going to follow all of that in one round. And then I'll use Blessing of the Raven Queen to go back to Earth. All right, we're fine. I actually do follow oh, all that in one round. It's... I'm pretty sure it's like uh, 200 feet or around unless you cast Featherfall, which reduces it to like 60 feet around. I mean, also, you're going to, but you are going to do Blessing of the Raven Queen as you're falling. Yes. So. I'm simply just correcting. Appreciate it. I also, I'm glad you have that ability. I didn't want to roll fall damage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that just happened. Also, Gestalt, you're in the back, right? Yeah. I don't uh, know what is wrong with all of you. That light tickled. Uh, there's just an old standing next to you. Well, you would know. Since it's your magic item. But yeah, there's just a knoll on the boat too, y'all. Hi, Knoll. He's not real. Ignore him. Is he friendly? Oh, he's he, not real? He looks very sad now that he's been told he's not real and he's going through a non-existence existential crisis. Well, get over it. Is this your first existential crisis? It nods. Amateurs. I mean, it's its first existential, even. I'm Mr. Me, no, look at me. Oh, he's scary and cute at the same time. It, it's there until the effect would come to an end. Uh, as soon as you realize it's illusory, you don't. Okay, so I mean, y'all sail past this, and uh, Perry, this is the weirdest you have felt in a very, very long time. Like, you you have that little bit of an energy that usually comes from the snoop pouch. Uh, But also, you're a little staggery, you're a little little wobbly. Yeah, I don't like this. She's going to pull out, like, a flask of water and start drinking it. Yeah, it'll take you a minute, but y'all are able to proceed through the rest of the day unaffected uh so i'm gonna move us to just the let's see actually y'all have moved far enough to go back to a very old map oh we can go to fork now So y'all are starting to get to what is a very familiar neck of the damp wood, because this is where you first ran into the uh, the crawfish abomination and dealt with uh, Jimothy the first time. So uh, someone roll me a d6 again for this day.
Uh-oh. Somebody Dude. roll, feeding baby. Alright, we will go with the first one. Okay. Give me a second. Waste on it, that's what it was called. I have to restart roll 20 real quick. Yay, roll 20. Uh, one second. Okay, now I can see my character sheet. All right. Let's say X Mac. Okay, going to change y'all back because the river actually is starting to clear up. And Perry's perception is still a freaking 20. So, uh, everyone else but Peregrine give me a perception check. Once again, not paying attention, I guess. Okay, so Tarl... Trying to figure out where all the chickens went. Greg cooked one. It wasn't too bad. Alright, uh, roll perception, Gestalt. Okay, uh, everybody but Arvax and Shamrock are going to notice this. Uh, as the river starts to clear, there's these large masses that are out in the water. Like, and at first you think that they're just more floating detritus, but they're starting to follow and then actually gain on the boat and spread around it. So that's what everybody plus Peregrine's passive picks up here. Is it these large masses seem to be following the boat and kind of moving around it? That's not good. As in they're like hunting? Like they're being predatory? Uh, roll an insight check. Can Peregrine try a nature check to see if she like recognizes these things? Yeah. Uh, Mulak, they're hard to read. There's not a face on them. I mean, honestly, it looks like overgrown vegetation and, like, mobile muck. 
Africa and I don't have nature. Ooh. So just as far as he knows, it might just be plants getting stuck in the wake. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, nature wise, Perry, it's. Yeah, that's weird. So what is everybody else doing? I'm going to throw a rock at it. Okay. Uh, roll me a throw rock. Which should just be a unmodified dex, because you don't have improvised weapon, right? I do not. Wow. Bloop, bloop into the water. That didn't go as well as I intended. I'm going to look and see if there's any behind us. I'm going to stand back here. Uh, no, there's, there's nothing behind y'all. Just these, they're alongside. And they seem to kind of be keeping pace. No, but they're not doing anything? As far as you can tell. Okay. Um... Peregrine's going to look around and go, do y'all want me to go check on those things? I can just dip down right quick in the water and take a look. What things? Those things. And she's going to point out the big lumps. Oh. They're following us. The fuck is that? Can you breathe under there? I can if I do octopus again. Oh yeah, I forgot you could do that. Yeah. I mean, sure. Peregrine's gonna turn into a giant octopus and just slurp off the side of the boat. But wait, but oh, okay. She still has like a tentacle on the boat. She's just so kind of drifting what, underneath it. What do you do if you start getting eaten? She just shrugs. Peregrine's like eats right back. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right. So you got how big is a giant octopus? Is it a large sized creature, Peregrine? I'm pretty sure it is. I gotta remind myself. Uh, five e. It is a come on large, yeah, large. Okay, so you dip in, and with your with your inkly octopus vision, you notice in the murk that what looks like a large blob above is a much larger one below that then starts to drift closer to you. Kind of icebergy type theory here. So like it not a particular creature shape that I uh, from what I can tell? Uh it's a blob. Give give me another nature check. Oh god. <laughs> Just a good old fashioned river blob. Yep. Welcome to the Fatberg. Uh no, you it's you you don't know. You're not seeing like any anatomy that normally would be upon a creature that you see in a river. She's gonna get like a better grip on the side of the boat and kinda like half pull herself up, but she's still watching it from underwater. All right, but as... like she's ready to heat herself back on the, the, uh, okay. As dot, you the deck. as you do that, it is. Going to roll a twenty three to Glorp. What is Octopus's HP or I mean AC? Uh. It is 11. Okay, so that definitely hits. And that is 12 acid damage. Okay. You are now considered grappled. Uh, I don't think a giant octopus can be grappled. Hang okay. on. I gotta remind myself of that, but that might not be the case. Oh. No, I think it's it's something else. I think that that comes from. Never mind. 
Okay, it's the only way I can tell you is you have now been engulfed by this thing. It feels like you're in a jelly. Like a thick, kind of viscous liquid. You can still move. But the very first thing you notice, uh, Octagrin, is you can't breathe. Even as an octopus, I can't breathe? Even as an octopus, you can't breathe. Okay. And people on the boat would have seen me get slurped off the side of the boat. It, you didn't she get... was very much so. She was very much so. Like her tentacles were on deck. <laughs> you, uh, you did not get slurped off boat. This thing kind of slurped around you and up onto deck. So they saw it. That was my, my point. Everybody, everybody can see that. And with that, I would like us to uh, okay. hold on. Let me get rid of everybody that's pre-existing. I would like everybody to roll me initiative real quick. Why is it not picking up anybody's? Did everybody click their token? It picked up mine. They're all in on this, and it may be a. Oh, it's being pick. it's be, it's being slow on mine. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let me get everybody in order. I gotta take off my headphones real quick to burp, baby. I believe it's pronounced baby. It's a baby. Baby. So what age does the baby turn into the Baba Yaga? I hope never, Moose. Like, legitimately, I hope never. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure Oct Octopus Grin or Octagrin has a higher dex than Tar. Tar what is Tarl's dex? Twelve. Okay, so plus one, or yeah, plus one. Peregrine. Uh, she is plus three. Okay. So, top of the round, uh, Peregrine, uh, you are grappled by this thing. You are slowly suffocating inside slightly burny goo. Alright, she is going to, uh, Let me figure out what the better role for this would be. Oh, she can hold her breath for one hour. That's very useful. <laughs> that is extremely useful. <laughs> that is very good to know. Okay. Um, knowing that, she is going to see if this works. She's going to release an ink cloud. Okay. Explain what that does. From A 20-foot... The... Yeah, it's just a 20-foot radius of ink extends all around the octopus if it's underwater. Um, the area is heavily obscured for one minute. Okay, can you see through it, or is it obscured for you as well? It is obscured for me as well. However, I can take the dash action as a bonus action immediately Here. following. Okay, does that negate your movement being zero? Nope. I don't believe so. Okay, so if you do this... Everything around you is now black. That's it. And I don't think my extra action takes effect when I'm wild shape, does it? Mm, what extra action are you saying? From Barbarian? Uh, new. Extra attack, okay. Well, wait, you get two attacks. So I believe you would get to... I believe you get to keep that unless the octopus only has one attack. 
It has, oh, well, I technically used Ink Cloud, which is an action, not an attack anyway. Okay. Show bonus action rage. She is very angry. Yeah. Uh, that is another nine acid damage, half to four for you. And you can hold your breath for an hour, so. Yay. There we go. Okay, she's good. Let me do this. Move you over here. Okay. Tarl. There is a now very dark, gelatinous thing on the edge of the boat down here that has uh, seemingly eaten your friend that turned into an octopus. Here, I thought Tarl was going to fireball. <laughs> Having problems? Fireball. Isn't the method of fireball when in doubt, burn it out? A hey, 16 hits with inflict wound. That is thirty-two or thirty-one necrotic damage. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. That 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 uh, it's not doing so good. It starts to quiver. That's it. All right, uh, Shamrock. Yo. Uh, yeah, the uh, the big lady turned into an octopus, went over the side of the boat, and now it's... My passive is like 10. I probably didn't even notice. It. I would say it's kind of hard not to notice on a boat this size, as loud as it was. Oh, it was loud? Okay. But let me rephrase that. You heard the sound of a very large, wet, flabby thing smacking the deck, and that kind of caught your attention for a split second. And then Tarl, and then Tarl, Tarl just Tarl, slapped... Tarl. Tarl slapped the jelly on the cheeks. Oh, it's a jelly. That's what this uh, best you can guess is. It's a very large, cloudy, grody-looking jelly thing. Ew, that is gross. Um, and I see, like, three more of these things? There's yeah, there's three similar ones floating around the edge of the boat. But they're not like moving towards us, are they? Uh it looks like they are. Ooh, okay. Well, tur tur uh, tur turn order dictates that they haven't yet though. Ah, okay. So I can look around, I can see all this. And uh I am you know what? I'm just gonna cast blink on myself. All right. Because I might not want to be here by the time they get here. I'm just going to put a little yellow dot to remember blink. Okay, at the end of each of your turns, you need to roll a d20, correct? For the duration of yep. the spell? Uh, 11 or higher, you vanish. Okay, so at the end of your turn, if you're not doing anything else, you you go in Visibo, right? You, you blink out? I'm in the ethereal plane. Cool. Well, then we'll switch it to purple from yellow. So, you are now on the ethereal plane. There's a couple of jellyfish-looking creatures that seem to be watching what is happening on a little screen. Anything else? That's it for me. Okay. Uh, does Juno do anything at the end of your turn? Uh, no, I have to... I have to give her a command or controller, so no. Okay. Gestalt. Um, Octagrin just got glorped, and Tarl slapped it really hard on the back end. Okay, well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm at a complete loss on what to do. Uh, so how far up on the ship is it? Uh, it's consumed up to the tentacles that were wrapped around the, uh, the edge. Okay. Hmm. I don't think piercing damage is going to do much, but... You know what? Uh, let's see. Yay, Branding Smite. Cast that on my weapon. Oh shit, this didn't do what I thought it... Oh well, it, it's a thing. You thought it did fire, not radiant? Yeah, I thought it was a different one. Oh well, I cast it already. I mean, you don't have Searing Smite, do you? I thought I did. I don't right here, though. So, Oh, well. I might not have prepared it. Okay, so it, it, it... Branding Smiting this thing. Hmm. So I roll my weapon. Mm -hmm. to... A 14 hits. 11 plus 8. Okay, so that's 19. I'm going to take another shot. Oh, wait, can I take another shot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, 25 hits. It's another eight piercing. Okay. Uh, Octagrin, this is super weird. Like, everything that is hitting this thing, you feel it too, but it's like being on a waterbed and somebody hitting the other end of it, like that type of vibration type thing. Uh, can you give me a con save while you're while this is happening? Does, does you're, you're fine. Does yeah. Colodets get you know. I mean, well, I mean, at the end of your turn, don't your your boys do things? Yeah. Th then then Colodets. Emmett can. just Brad. I'm sorry, Colodosis. Emmett just. I forgot. Brad. This is second iteration. Yeah, that that's a punch. That punch hits. Wow, he actually hit. How much? Oh, damage? wow, he actually hit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sixteen force too. Force. Okay. Uh, as you hit, you watch as the blow strikes this thing, and you watch pressure build up within this large gelatinous form. Uh, I need everybody that is on this end of the boat, with the exception of the player who is not here. Which would be just Brad. How many just Brads do we have? We should only have one. Do we have? I see two. I don't know why there's that one. I don't know where he came from. So that would be Aspic, Just Brad, Gestalt, uh, Tarl, and Octagrin. I need uh, I need deck saves. Okay. 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 Let me find Aspect. He's in... Oh, well, he has some pretty good deck save, actually. Oof. 14, though. Yeah. Well, you know. And just Brad? Yeah, just Brad's up there. Oh, where is the he? The 19. Oh, he's the 19. Okay. It, it looked like it was combined in the other stuff. So, uh... Just Brad saves. Neat, neat. Uh, and that's it. So that is 16 fire damage. Uh, that'll be halved for, for Octagrin. As it explodes. Cool. So it hits all of us? Yes. With that much? Okay. So I'm just going to let you know. Aspect turns into the locket. And is gone now. 
He just goes back to being a locket. Yeah. He only has like 5 HP. Also, I'm going to draw this on here. This section of the boat is pretty trashed and starting to take on water. Oh, I'm sorry. He has 6 HP. So Actually, the... he should have more. One, one plus my intellect mod, which is five, and then artificer level, which is ten. So he should have fifteen. He's still down, though. Okay, so that section of the boat is now very damaged, considered difficult terrain, and the boat is starting to take on water and list. Is that everything Gestalt? Thing. All right, it is now their turns. What if instead they don't get a turn? I don't know. Ar argue this case, Moose. Okay. I don't want them to. In the uh, in the my argument, uh, does a fifteen hit me? Yes. No. Okay. Okay, so that one, uh, Arvax, does an e. eighteen eighteen hit? No. Oh, there goes Dreyfus. <laughs> Bye, Dreyfus. Oh, so, wait, what? Dreyfus gets glorped. And takes max damage for 16. 16 damage to the Dreyfus. When it reached out, the, is their skin like leathery looking? Is it skin? Is it goop? It feels like pudding skin. It's like gestalt. Slightly more pliable than gestalt. All right, that's their go. Uh, Greg, what's our boy Greg going to do? Oh boy, Greg. I have faith in you. Wait, he's engaged, right? With you, Mulak? The This fella here? Yes. I guess that's up to you, I'm assuming. He tried yep. to hit me. This is true. Roll me a d4 then, Mulak. Uno. So, uh... This is a throwback to when Greg stole stuff from a magic shop. He chunks a grenade. And it explodes into a fiery ball. For one damage. <laughs> Good job, Greg. But, uh, let's see real quick. Mulak and uh, Shamrock. Give me perception checks. Ooh, I suck at the... Hey, we tied. Okay, both of y'all noticed that even though it did very little, little f type flame, uh, there's smoke now coming off of this one. Hmm. So lock it, it's your go. It sure doesn't seem like a problem for me in the ethereal. Oh, wait. I am sorry. I forgot you are blinked uh, elsewhere. Uh, I can see. Okay. You, you have the little screen like the, the jellyfish things. Seems like everybody gets a free ethereal pad when you get there. Okay, Mulak, what are you doing? Okay, I would like this feller here to make a dexterity saving throw.
of 17. Yeah, it does not do it. Okay. Uh, let me see what that is. I think it's five. It is. And basically, I look like a vomit. I just go like, <laughs> and I'm using that. Uh, the where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This here from the thing that God gave me mm -hmm. to basically vomit stomach acid all over this thing. So as you vomit acid all over this thing, this is what happens. It seems to get larger. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then, uh, well, let me see how this works, because I just learned it. Uh, well, I learned it a while ago, I just haven't used it. When you cast this one, it's kinda, you can spend two sorcery points. Cast some time, okay. And then, because that freaked me out, I will pump him with more acid. No, I will cast a fourth level chromatic orb of fire as a bonus action using two sorcery points to quicken spell. All right, so you got to try to hit it? Uh, I believe so. Cool. Chromatic orb. Fourth level. Uh twenty-three. Yep. And that is let me make sure that's I think that's minus five. Oh no, that's the right damage. Okay. So that is thirty-two. No, it is minus five, so twenty-seven fire damage. Okay. So you just smack the hell out of that thing. Also, did you use your way of the worm that doubles your spell? Uh, oh, then add the five. Yes. I thought that was only for acid damage. Nope. Uh, so so I'm gonna... 30, 32 then. All right. Uh, you notice that the fire is now even bigger. Does he shrink? No, it's just now on. Dang. <laughs> it's just now on fire. Oh, I changed colors. Uh, th that might be a bad thing now that I'm seeing that. Yeah, because the fire is the whole upper part of this is on fire, and it's like right up next to your boat. Okay. Well. Can I see Sean, uh, not Sean, can I see, uh, Shamrock, Shamrock if I turn to my right? Nope, he's, he's blinked. Oh, boy, okay. Uh, that's all I can do. I will, too scared to run away. So I'm gonna stay right there. Arvax. Oh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if these things can understand me. Just command. Mm, probably not. Did it seem to do anything when Tarl hit the other one? Uh, it took some damage, yeah. Also, there's now a giant flaming one over here. Uh, fun. Uh, always the fire. I'll just say, look, Greg, you caught it on fire. Good job. Woo. Hang on, I'm trying to do things with my left hand. Does she not want to be sat down? Um, she's awake is the thing. So is everybody over here on the bottom edge now engulfed in the blob too, or? Uh, 
just Dreyfus. Dreyfus is the only one that got glorped. No, the bottom right where everyone's in blue. Uh, that is where the boat is now damaged. Uh, hold ah. on, give me just a second. Okay, let me see if she'll let me put her down. One sec. It has relieved me of the baby, so I have both hands. <laughs> um. I have a longer arm, so it's easier for me to hold her. Say hi. Oh. Eh. <laughs> that was a <laughs> I can't. Uh, I don't have any fucking magic for this shit. I mean, Tarl came up and literally, like, for lack of a better term, clapped them jelly cheeks with a, a lot of necrotic damage. That sounds hot. Side note uh, thanks to Joe Cat, Vincent will sporadically say, clap those cheeks, but then he claps the cheeks on his face with his hands and makes a little noise like the girl on uh, uh, Despicable Me. A little mouth pop noise. I should could correct. I could. I should correct him, but I'm not going to because it's kind of cute. Also, the first time he said that, and M yelled at me was kind of funny. Yes, because it was your fault because you let him watch the Paladin video from Joe Cat. Clap those cheeks with smite. <laughs> Why do they call it chill touch when it does the chronic damage? And it's not a touch spell. No, it's not. Um, because it gives them the chills. And it's like the like the creepy chills, like Ugh. it's a dumb spell. It's not as bad as a uh, touch of blissful release from Exalted. Oh God, I forgot about that one. Or halt the scarlet flow. There are so many, so many bad. They did that there. on purpose. It's not even the bad fake sex charms that are in that game. Um. Okay. What, what was that? She was making little raspberries at me, so I blew one back. Oh, I thought she burped at first. I was like, "Damn!" She she totally just farted. That's all. Anyway, uh, what you doing? What you doing, Armax? Um. All right, drive this is closer to me. Though, so I'm gonna try and stab the blob. I guess. See if it spits him out. I don't know. I don't okay. have any good spells for this shit. Hold on. So you ran from the other one to go to oh, this wait. one. Oh, wait. It was close. Shit. Yeah, nope. it, 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 it bloops and misses. Not today, motherfucker. All right. I'm going to try and stab the blob where it... I don't think Dreyfus is. So I guess more down than on the deck. Okay. Roll to hit. Oh, we're not going to do anything. Uh, a 24 hit, so that is 10 total. Does it seem to hurt it? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to smite it. Okay. Is it? Brain fart. 2d6, right? Hmm? Yeah. Or it's 2d8. 2d8. Oh. Sir. Sir. 2d8. Okay. So 2d8 to 9 radiant. Mm-hmm. Second attack. 13 hits. Oh. Okay. They're uh, big jelly monsters. They're not hard to hit. M Malak, you noticed Seven that Malak, she, she swung the sword just like you taught her. 
My God, will you shut up? So that's another twenty. No, I noticed already that she surpassed me. She's better now. But it's only because of my lessons. You're so humble. All right. Anything else, Arvax? Uh, nope. That was my movement and two attacks. Uh, actually, no, no, I'm not gonna waste that. Spell. Yeah, that's it. Uh, ow! 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 Ma'am! Ow! What'd she do? She is punching me. Are Are you done? What 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 do you want? What do you want? Hmm. Child, okay. Just gonna punch daddy in the face, that's fine. You can take it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, Dreyfus is gonna cast Blinding Smite. That's a hit. Okay, so that is 16, 20. Yep. So you just watched the center of this thing erupt in light. But I do need Dreyfus and Arvax to make deck saves as this thing goes up. Yeah, and I think he and I both get a plus. No, 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 no. Don't make that face. Oh, that's stuck. Yeah, uh, where's the button? Where's the I'll oh, come no. get her. All right, sorry about that. I know that had to be sonically unpleasant. <laughs> so that's with the... Got to add the plus three. So both of them fail. So that is 24 damage to both of them. Okay, this part of the boat is now the same, and the boat is going down fast, y'all. Back to the top around with Octagrin. There's a fiery one. There's another explosion. Y'all give me a second, I just heard Emily curse. Talk amongst yourselves. How are things going? Hey... Hello. No, yeah, rough, rough say about like like that. What's that? I said, eh, you know. It's Monday. Yeah. Oh shoot.
All right, I'm back. We had to tag team that. Did everybody else leave? No, I'm here. Okay. I'm about to have to take my dogs up. All right, uh, top of the order, Perry. I'm just making sure she's fast enough to do this. She, which she is. Then come over. Are you are you swimming or is this like you're doing a really cool tentacle run along the side of the boat? Nah, swimming's faster. <laughs> okay. Um, she's going to expend a second level spell slot to heal herself. Going to be two d eight. Are you raging though? Still, yeah. So not this is not a spell. This is expending a spell slot in order to heal myself. It's part of my uh, circle of the moon druid. Okay. All right, and then she's going to whap, bamp, whap, bamp. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, 14 will hit. And 3 plus 7. Mm-hmm. Or sorry, 2 plus 7. I don't have Hammer of the Third Zone up. I mistakenly still had that checked. So, 9 damage. Um. Technically, it's grappled, but I don't think this thing is grappable, is it? It's size category at the moment. Well, technically, I don't have a restriction on the size category. But I still, I mean, this type of creature, I don't yeah, think can be grappled, it, it, can it? You're grabbing basically a giant balloon. Two, uh, two yeah. size category is larger than whatever your size category is, is the usual. It is a big boy. But also, when you try to grab it, it's like a trash bag full of water. And then I think I can hit it one more time, though, because extra attack does count if I'm doing an attack. Yeah. Which I am. One more time. Yep. And then I need you and Mulak to give me deck saves. God, the label oh, no. on that attack is so ridiculous. Like it with inflatable tube arms. <laughs> Mulak saves. I did not. Nope. That is 17 halved for both of you to 8. Okay, y'all, uh, for all intents and purposes, you're now kind of on the breaking apart of the raft. Or of the barge. Neat. Tarl. Give me just a second. Now they're going to kind Wasn't of be true. There are all sorts of barrels of, like... How are they moving when it's thing? not their turn? Huh? I'm I'm moving them off to the side. Oh, those are dead. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. Uh, what were you asking, Shamrock? Wasn't like this thing's this, the raft's kind of on fire. Wasn't there all sorts of barrels of some sort of noxious thing? Was it? No, that was that was the other one that Daryl tried to get y'all to take the the, oh, tan, okay. the tannery raft. Y'all got the not tannery raft. You got the not piss boat. Oh, it was piss. That's right. I just, I was just wondering, was this thing about to blow up? No, but for there, all, but there is, this is no longer a boat. Is the the best way I can put this? Yeah, that's fine. This is a slightly held together, floating amount of detritus. Oh shit, flame strike. 
you're hitting the last one with that? Yep. Mm hmm. It's got to make a deck save. No. So that is 28 damage. Yep. Okay, it's not happy. Uh, are you going to move outside of the blue line area, Tarl? Or are you going to reside there for now? Okay. Shamrock. All right, cool. Uh, at the start of my turn, I appear within 10 feet of somewhere I can see. So uh, the blue lines are the fire, right? Uh, the blue lines are where the boat has taken severe damage and is cracking and falling apart. So this ah. is, these are going to be the parts that more or less are difficult terrain and will or possibly won't collapse. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do my 10 uh, reappear over here. Cool. And then I'm going to use my movement. To try and get as far away from this big thing as I can. I was within 10 feet of it. I don't know if that mattered. Uh, it does not have that reach. It's it's a 5 right. foot. I mean, it's just a big thing. So sometimes they have reach. They, they're very, uh, it, it's one of those things that's very slow until it's not. Yep. Uh, then I am going to... You know what? I feel like this thing might be stupid, so I'm going to mind sliver it. Okay. You are correct, sir. That's a that's a thirteen. So that's seven psychic. Oh, he couldn't pass it if he wanted to. He could pass it with a nat twenty. Nope. My DC's eighteen. So. And so that's a uh, seven psychic and minus a D four from its next attack roll. Cool. I believe. Yes. D four from the next say next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. And that will be, uh, well, little Juno here is going to do what she should have done earlier and going to go invisible. And then I'm going to roll a D 20 on 11 or higher. I bamf bamf. There I go. Gestalt. Okay, I gotta take my dogs out. Okay, so I'm going to float up and head over here, get get the pendant that is my buddy Aspic. And then just float over this and, and say, yeah, so this might be gone. Do we have, like, a, a plan for a sinking ship? Nope. Uh, my dad always said, if you're on a sinking ship, uh, why were you there in the first place? Well, I was here because this was the boat we were using, but, you know, the, the ship is, is no longer usable in a, in a very bad time. But anyway... I'll just float here. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to help y'all, but yeah. Don't you have a crossbow? I do have a crossbow. <laughs> I don't know. How I'm go oh, you're talking about help you because you're floating. Okay. I yeah. You're like, uh, okay. I'm just, the boat's broke. I don't know what to do now. I'm just going to stand here and wonder. Well, I don't want to shoot at them because every time they, they fucking explode. What? So you're yeah. afraid that you'll explode the ship even more. I mean, one's on fire. 
it's just on fire, you right. know? It, it's kind of dead and drifting off the other way with the current. <laughs> oh, that, I didn't even see they all had... Okay, so this is the only one that's left. That's yeah, fair. yeah, there's skulls and crossy bones. I still don't want to touch it. So I'm just going to tell just Brad to come over here and start climbing up one of the one of the poles. Okay. In that case it now and goes, that's my turn. Goes to the masses or the mass. Uh, let's see. Wisdom save. Nope, it's not bright. So let's see something. Yep, closer. If it's the Wait. one I just mind slivered, it'll get a minus uh, you, a D four on it. Like. You also blinked. So I mean, it it already failed this wisdom. So it's just gonna come over here. Is that still a minus four to its attacks as well, or is it just the first thing? It's just the it's just the next save until the end of my next turn. Okay. It misses. It misses Arvax. Greg. Greg, my boy. It's engaged, so it manages to hit. Someone roll me a d4. As he chunks one of the other jars that he stole from the magic shop. More fire. Oh, hey. That's really good damage there, Greg. Okay. Uh, it's now on fire. Moolock. Oh, I wish I had something to push things away. Wait, are they all dead? This one's still alive, huh? Yeah, this one's just on fire. Um. I'll try a level one chromatic orb at it, but frost. Okay, yeah, that hits, and, uh, yeah. Um, Arvax and Dreyfus need to make deck saves. God damn it. Oh, no, Dreyfus failed. Arvax failed. Fucking... <clears throat> type, type, type. That is 19 fire damage. Man, poor Dreyfus. That's almost half his health. And with that, the boat finally goes down. With this last section, basically the whole front half of this boat collapses and breaks into the water. And y'all find yourselves washing up upon the shore not too far away from Dampton. A little hamlet that you had visited before, and I believe Mulak had gotten a whole bunch of halfling cheese at. Well, at least we survived. But you all wash ashore. Wet. Some of you burned. And that's where we'll end tonight's session as you all kind of walk up the bank at the edge of the damp wood, looking back for the first time in over a year on the Hebon Diocese.
So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the end of tonight's session. Thanks, Hewitt. No, you are busy <sighs> right now. Yeah, I don't know if she's coming through hollering on this. <coughs> oh, well, we didn't die. Yep, she's fussy now. Uh, so uh, since she is fussy, I'll do the socials for my uh, socials for my lovely life. Uh, my wife, you can uh, find us on uh, Facebook, Threads, Instagram. Uh, here on Twitch and YouTube is Team Bonus Action. You can find us on uh, Twitter at bonus underscore team. I believe we are still looking at Blue Sky. I'm not sure about that one. And you can also find us at our lovely website with uh, Freaky V. Uh, created it at teambonusaction.com. Uh, also, we have moved into Extra Life Season. So if you donate down below, all proceeds will go to the Children's Miracle Hospital Network. Uh, most of the pro I think we're still set up to go to Batson's Children in Jackson. So if you can donate, please do, so the parents do not have to worry about paying bills or getting their kid their, the medicine and medical treatment that they need. So uh, if you can help out, please do. And Extra Life is coming up, so uh, that'll be November 3rd through the 5th. Am I right? I believe so. I believe so. Okay. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. We'll be back with uh, a roundtable this next not is it this next no not this next weekend uh we'll be back with holy winds next monday i am not sure about any other games we are uh redwell is gonna come back at some point yeah it's coming back at some point i'm gonna wait getting some personal stuff set up right now but once that's done i'll be able to come back with it cool uh at some point we will also finish marigold so uh, that's all that we got is we'll be back next week with uh, Holy Winds. And uh, since Knox isn't here, everybody. I'll let you meet Lowe. Thank you.